Good Saturday evening, everybody. It's late night, and I'm up prepping dinner for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the September birthday dinner. Not a big dinner. Not a big dinner. Uh, just something real simple. We're doing uh, hamburger sliders. But before I get the menu out, I hope y'all are having a God bless Saturday night, because I am watching TV, and I decided that I was going to go ahead and get some of my side dishes done. And one of the ones I'm going to do tonight is going to be a broccoli casserole. So repeat. It's a fan favorite, a family favorite, and a crowd pleaser. So we're going to do a um, broccoli casserole. I just did one, I think, last Sunday. We're doing another one this Sunday because everybody loves broccoli casserole. And I needed a really good, tasty, quick uh, vegetable, and it's going to be the broccoli casserole. And we're going to be doing um, potato salad and baked beans and maybe some fried rice. It just depends on how things go. Um, and uh, like I say, oh, uh, the chicken. I'm doing some uh, Jama orange Jamaican chicken. Y'all know I just made that up, don't you? So anyway, I got my chicken already cleaned and marinating in the refrigerator. And I'll just have to get up and put it in the oven and bake it tomorrow. Um, aside from it being uh, September birthday, uh, kind of a special September, you know, birthday dinner for, uh, let's see, can I call them in the order in which they came. Uh, Tanya's birthday is September 6th. Tanz's birthday is September 26th. And uh, Kareem's birthday is September 26th. He was born on the same day as his mom. And a dear friend of mine just had a birthday, August 30th. So we're going to say happy birthday to her as well. And also it's uh, Labor Day. So we're going to um, celebrate all four of those uh, special times at once tomorrow. Uh, and then Monday I'm going to sit back and relax a little bit. My that sciatic nerve issue has arisen again, so I'm sort of take it. This is my take it easy meal. So, anywho, I'm gonna go ahead tonight to get ahead of the game and get this broccoli casserole done. I'm gonna be using this time instead of two pounds, I'm gonna use two and a half pounds of uh broccoli to make a little bit bigger one. Um, Ted, you want to say what you want to say about this uh dip situation? I got this. <laughs> I got this train rolling, it's moving, honey, because I have to get in there when this, when this uh, back ain't doing this little thing. So anyway, we're getting this broccoli casserole all done, um, and I've done this a few times. So y'all, y'all, y'all regular cooks, y'all know about how to make it. But for y'all, those of you who don't, we got a little twist. You know, I always put a little bit of a twist to uh, something that I'm cooking. So tonight we're gonna have a little, just a slight twist to making this um, broccoli casserole. So I've got two and a half pounds of uh, halfway steamed broccoli. Huh? Uh, she she wasn't to talk on but y'all know I have to say what I'm saying. Now somebody told me on one of my videos, or maybe two or three, she talked too, talk too much. I thought, <laughs> my show, my kitchen, my meal, so I talk. Okay. <laughs> I love to talk. Okay. Anyway, Taz wants to say what she wants to say, but we're going to go on. It's going to be about the broccoli and how we're preparing. <sighs> go ahead, Taz. You're on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, with this broccoli casserole that y'all have seen over and over and over again, it's a fan favorite, it's a crowd pleaser. Well, guess what? Tonight we have a little twist on it we got too much dip on the chip tonight so the twist to this broccoli casserole is this yeah so okay so what i made some dip tonight it was a little bit too salty yeah yeah so when you add the chips it makes the dip saltier so mama's bright idea was that we're going to use the onion dip in the broccoli casserole half of it and put sour cream with the other half to make it not so salty. So technically it was my idea, technically. Um, and if you think about it, onions and sour cream are two ingredients that are actually in the casserole separately, but who cares how you put it in there if it's 
by onion by way of onion dip or if it's by way of a whole onion and sour cream it's all the same so we will be back to let you all know the results okay so who's talking a lot no okay anywho so we're gonna move right along with this um casserole but yeah that's why i'm saying tans, you know some some things you can check the salt when you over salt and then other things you can't and because we eating these chips with this dip it made it saltier dip is still good just a little bit salt and i thought rather than eat all that salt let's just put it in here it's just gonna make it's just gonna step this uh, casserole up another notch mm -hmm. so now that we got that's about a cup of um dip in there and i'm gonna just put about another fourth of a cup of just plain uh sour cream because sour cream is one of the ingredients that i use in my broccoli casserole so it's about a fourth of a cup and then you say you're gonna out. back off the salt yeah, too, then, right? Because I never really put salt. I always have seasons that have salt in it. So one of the things that I use, uh, I use my everything but the kitchen sink. So I'll just use less of that. I don't need that much of it now that I already got the salt in the dip. Let's see. Are y'all being able to see this? Let's see. Let's get over here. So anyway, I hope y'all saw that first part. But anyway, I got the fourth of a cup of sour cream a cup of, of uh, that dip is already in there and so what we're going to do is just continue to put the other ingredients in oops got that up too high and we're just going to uh, mix all that together and we're going to have us a good old broccoli casserole and it's going to go along with our meal tomorrow um and we just plan on having just a good fellowship tomorrow got a few friends coming over like I said, we're just going to celebrate these birthdays tomorrow and just enjoy and also enjoy the holiday as well. So I hope you all got something on the menu if you're going to get on the grill. I didn't feel like getting on the grill this time around. So, and you know, we've been having quite a bit of rain, so I don't want to get out there and get caught in that rain because it rained. Oh, it rained, really, really rained yesterday. And I, like I said, we don't want to get caught in that rain. So be very careful because those storms are out there and they're still raging. Oops, sorry about that. Raging all over the place. So just be careful with this weather, y'all. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, move right along with this uh, broccoli casserole. I'm trying to get it made and put it in the fridge and I'll bake it tomorrow. I'm just trying to get some of my do-aheads. I think this is like called a do-ahead. Uh, dish. You can do a broccoli casserole. You can do, uh, what do you call it, uh, macaroni and cheese. You can do stuff like that ahead of time. And of course, I've already marinated my chicken. Got it waiting in the uh, refrigerator. Get up in the morning. I'm going to put it into the oven. It's gonna, my chicken is called a, an orange jerk chicken. And of course, I said we we're going to do the sliders, the hamburger sliders potato salad, baked beans, broccoli casserole. Oh, corn on the cob, that was the other thing. Okay, so now I always use um, cream of chicken soup in my casserole, okay? So we're not gonna use this entire big old can. This is a big can, so we're just gonna use part of that and I will freeze the remainder. Let's go ahead and get, this is two eggs and two cups of um, half and half. You can use half and half, you can use pet milk, you can use uh, whipping cream, whatever you have or whatever you choose. Chef's choice, y'all. I'm not going to pour that in tonight or what? I'm not going to cook it until tomorrow. I'm going to pour it tonight. Oh, yeah. Milk. Oh, yeah, I'm pulling it in and doing it right now. Okay, so we got all those ingredients and all we got to do is just mix it up. Okay, so we're going to do this. So we got all those ingredients and all we got to do at this point is go ahead and mix it up together. And when I get everything mixed, I'm going to pour in the cheese. I got two cups of cheese going in here. Uh, yeah, extra sharp cheddar. Now, some people use four or five different kinds of cheese. Wonderful. If you got, you know, if you got four or five different kinds to put in there, wonderful. So, we're going to put a cup and a half in here right now, and the rest of it's going to go on the top. And, of course, I'm going to make a top uh, crust for it, which will be uh, cheese and some uh, crunched up either Ritz crackers or Captain's wafers. Either one are really, really good for this, for making a topping. Or if you don't want to put a topping, you don't really have to. That's, you know, chef's choice. Okay, Tim's got something to say. Listen, guys, just want to say this real quick. 
whether for you or your parents, go to manage my prescription subscriptions on your mama's TV or on your TV. Because I just found about eight or nine subscriptions that mama don't even watch, didn't know she had, and it ain't even affecting the things that she watches. Everything that she watches, I can still get it. And that's just amazing how you have how they put all this stuff on your on her card, and she's not even aware of it. Like that's that's crazy to me. So y'all, because with the elder community, they all you know they take more advantage. Who of, elder? <laughs> the elder community. I'm doing the the rabbit ears, y'all. The elder community. <laughs> Yeah, cause I wish I wish somebody would on my TV. I wish somebody. I wish I would ever get up there and see something like that on my TV. Woo! But yeah, yeah, we gotta look out for our elders, y'all. That's all. Who's this elders? <laughs> she trying to call me elderly. But yeah, that's true though, cause you know what? I was looking at one of my. Um, uh, my, my American Express thing and I kept seeing five ninety nine, and I thought I don't charge nothing like that on this car and that's exactly what it was somehow they had you know I guess I had one subscription to it, it was Prime is what it was or what it is and they had added all these little other channels about five or six different things they added up to about 50 bucks honey no more mm-hmm. I just took off about yeah about 55 dollars worth of channels that we ain't even ever heard of yeah and I watched basically the same thing y'all know I love me some TV so you know I just wasn't bothered about it until the other day I was sort of looking at it and I thought you know what this just doesn't seem to set too well with me with all this, these little itty bitty charges all at once and I don't know anything about them so anywho uh, if you don't check it out get someone else to go into manage your account mm-hmm. And uh, just to have them taken off, just that simple. Okay, this casserole mixture is ready. I'm going to get me a pan ready, put it in there, and go ahead and put the topping on, and we'll bake it tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Now go to bed, get yourself a good night's rest, pray without ceasing, do something kind for somebody. And meanwhile, if you need to, go ahead and start prepping your meal for tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning on the flip side. Okay, we're back. This is the last thing that I need to do with my casserole this is one sleeve of um, captain's wafers which is about I think it's 12 about 12 crackers in there I'm just crunching them up and I'm gonna add some grated cheese and some garlic powder and some Asiago seasoning to it and that's gonna be our topping for this casserole a real simple mixture here y'all just put that cheese right in there we're just going to mix it up really, really good. I should have got a bigger container, but that's okay. We're going to pour in some, um, about a good teaspoon of uh, Miyasiago seasoning and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Makes a nice little topping. And when it's all done and said, we're going to put it on top. Okay, everything is all mixed up pretty good. I'm just going to take this topping and sprinkle it right on top of our broccoli chapter. This is probably about a cup and a half of topping. It's good enough for this. Uh... No, you want something nice and tasty on top of that. Just a little extra added. So now tomorrow, this is going to go in the refrigerator tonight. And tomorrow we're going to take it out, bake it at 375 for about 45 minutes, and we're going to have our broccoli casserole. So we'll see you in the morning. Okay, y'all, I'm back very briefly. Baked beans are back in rotation. So this is a big can of uh, Bush's baked beans. Serves 24. I always do this when we're doing it for a crowd. If we got leftovers, they leave over real good. Okay, let's get started. We're going to get some mustard going in there, about a couple of tablespoons of mustard. A couple of um, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Okay. See how fast and furious this is? Don't blink. Don't blink, y'all. And then, you know, I got to get my mater ketchup in there. About a couple of um, tablespoons of um, 
um, tomato ketchup. And we're gonna put our fourth cup of brown sugar. Nah. No, we ain't going that rock tonight. I don't have ground beef and I ain't finna do all the work. It's gonna be changed was asking me about bell pepper and ground beef. I told her I wasn't going that rock because it's that's just not the pan I'm baking tonight. Four. Oh yeah, they had. Yeah. Crazy. I know they had some other stuff with his name up there. So they sent me one of them things. They, they be trying to sell anything. Okay, so we getting these baby. We talking about how they put stuff off on you on your phone, TV, everything. This this AI business and all this, was it Meta and all this kind of stuff is uh, really really progressive. So you have to watch out for it. So got these baked beans all ready to go, and what I'm doing gonna do they're gonna right in the refrigerator with that um, broccoli casserole when I get up in the morning. I'll just bake them, and this dinner will be ready, y'all. Just trying to make my load easy for tomorrow because I just got that feeling that I want to be able to relax and not be trying to rush around and since I didn't do a lot today, get it done tonight so these beans will see y'all tomorrow and so will I okay I'm back, I got my chicken remember I told y'all last night I had seasoned my chicken already so I'm going to uh, spread some that was olive oil on my pan and some of my smart star oil on this pan. I don't I know I'm not gonna get all this chicken on here, but I am going to give it a try. I think I got 30 something pieces. I think I got 16 wings and maybe 16 um drumsticks. So we're going to see just how much. Of this chicken, I had it in bags in the refrigerator, so we'll just dump some on here and see what happens. And see how much I can spread it out. I got two of these pans, but both of them see, I want them under the boiler, y'all. I want them under the boiler. Let me do some good with that bit. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's try half of it. Okay, well, let me see. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get both pans out of here because I'm going to put the legs on one and the wings on the other because they kind of sort of almost cook at the same rate, but I think the um, wings probably get done before those legs. So I'm going to get them separated and I'll be right back. Okay, we're ready to go, y'all. So I've got 14 chicken wings. They're nice size ones, too. Not too too big, but they're, they're pretty good size. So I got them on here, so I, I spread them out so we make sure we get them done all in between those joints and so on and so forth. So I got them all seasoned. These are my orange. Just got, these are with lemon and orange juice and jerk seasons and all the other seasons that's in my kitchen. Everything but the kitchen sink on these, so we and I'm gonna make a little bit of a marinade to mop them as I go along. Because what I'm going to do is let them uh, make their own little juice, and then I'll add some more spices, and I have something to mop them with throughout the cooking process. So there's my 14 wings. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put them in uh, on the bottom while I put the the. Uh, drumsticks in on the top. I'm going to have them, uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm just going to have them more or less about 400 and about 400 degrees and see what they do for a while. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead with it. So I'm doing the multi-rack cooking. I've got, I can cook on three racks in here so we can get all this done. So these are the chicken drumsticks that I've got seasoned and ready to go in the oven. And I've got them nice and generously oiled, so we're going to put them on the top rack. 
and set our oven up at um, multi rack on the multi rack side. Um, let's see, and we're gonna put them at 400 degrees and let them cook for about 45 minutes, and then we'll flip them over and cook them about 15 more minutes. I think we'll finish them off, and my other food should be done at the same time. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and start on this fried rice. The corn is boiling. And pretty much it's gonna be, everything's gonna be ready. Now, I might attempt to do this cake right quick. Oh, we gonna see. So y'all hang tight, don't go nowhere. Okay, y'all, I'm coming back. I'm gonna go ahead and start my uh, fried rice and I'm also gonna be doing my burgers at the same time. So I'm gonna do a little bit of multitasking. Uh, I'm going to do, um, let's see, where are they? Where are my sliders? Okay. I've got 18 sliders here. These are our ground prime rib steak burgers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start them out cooking, and then I'm going to uh, just to switch burgers here for a minute. Don't let that thing get hot. Let that still get hot, because this is what this is my cast aluminum. I love this pan here. I got this is my emerald cookware, and I bought a whole setup for like $150, probably about 10 years ago. It this is this that heavy gauge steel. It cooks really, really well, and I love it. So I'm gonna be doing my. Um, I just think sometimes, you know, we were talking yesterday about back going on buy you some good stuff to use because if you don't. You know, the other stuff is okay, but it's not going to last as long as the whole bottle of wine. Um, so, anywho, y'all, everything is cooking well in the oven. My chicken is browning and cooking, and I'm excited. Now, what I think I'm going to do, since I'm doing all this multitasking, I'm going to let y'all look in the oven at that chicken, if you see if you can see it. Look at that chicken. Those are the drums. The uh, wings are at the bottom. I'm gonna switch them out now. While we're at it, we're gonna switch it out so it'll cook evenly. Um, I'm telling y'all, even though I'm not cooking a lot, a lot of food, it still requires work. I'm telling you, cooking is work, y'all. Don't let nobody tell you that it's not. I just happen to love to do it. You know what I'm saying? I happen to love to cook, so we're gonna go ahead and put those wings on top and let them get browned up a little bit. And they're not yielding a lot, a lot of juice, but whatever juice they're yielding, I'm gonna capture it because I still gotta make a little bit of a marinade. Now my legs have given a little bit more juice than my um, wings have but I'm so I'm gonna steal that juice oh yeah that's good and I'm gonna stick them babies down on the bottom and then I'm gonna put the wings on top and when I come back I'll make a little mopping marinade for it okay so meanwhile I'm gonna go ahead and start my burgers off because I need to get them going. That you know how time start ticking off on you and I don't want time to catch up with me. So I'm simply going to just, um, just a simple seasoning on them. My usual seasoning is, is gonna go on them. Um, 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 my onion powder, garlic powder, everything but the kitchen sink. Okay, and I'm just gonna hit these little darlings in here like so. And I did put some oil in the pan because these burgers are very lean. And I'm gonna start them on a medium high heat, y'all. They're real lean, but so they're not gonna give off a lot of oil, okay? I think that's in red. There are 18 of these, so we can tell y'all what else I'm gonna do. So I will have 24 burgers. I'm gonna do some turkey. I'm gonna do six turkey burgers, y'all, to make up that to make give me 24. So I'm gonna try nine at a time in here. Okay. okay. 
got my first nine in the pan, y'all. Just gonna move that foil around. That's how I'm gonna do them, basically. So those are my burgers here. We're just gonna cook them just like so. And I'm gonna sprinkle the seasoning right on top of them. Okay? So now, I'm just gonna slide back over so I can get my rice going. And at the same time, I've got my burgers going. I got this rice on the ring, y'all. So what's happening here, I'm letting this uh, pan heat back up because I've got some peppers and onions. I'm going to chop, i got my peppers and onions. I use my uh, food processor. My girlfriend brought me another, um, my friend, to, well, I don't talk about Tawana. Tawana Williams is my friend. She was born with our arms. She's a uh, familiar uh, uh, individual. And she is now in her 60s. One of the most wonderfulest people you would ever want to meet in life, y'all. And she is a dear, dear friend. More like a sister to me than a friend, I tell you. So she brought... Um, this food process, and it is, it's really, really a good one, y'all. Real good one. The one I had before was a good one, but guess what? I call myself Miss Heavy Handed. Heavy P, as I call myself at times. Miss Heavy P broke it. Some way I managed to break it, y'all. So I've got my ground up peppers and onions and a little bit of celery. I'm gonna go ahead and saute all that on up. And I think I'm gonna throw just a few carrots in there. Just for color, y'all. Just for color. Pretty it up. So we're not gonna stand there and watch that cook. We need to let that saute. Keep it on high heat, y'all. Keep it on high, high heat. And that way you won't get a whole lot of condensation in there. And also, you know, you have to have some oil in the thing. So just make sure it's on high heat and saute those onions and peppers until they get um, nice and soft and wilty. Put you some garlic powder in there, about a tablespoon of garlic powder. Everything but the kitchen sink. I got a little bit of my seasoning off, not seasoning off, but um, Complete season. I got a little bit of that. I'm using that in moderation. I saw it because it, it got some. Uh, somebody told me they had MSG. I didn't read, so I read the fine print. So I backed off and used it so much. But I still use it here and there because it is wonderful. I still think it's wonderful, y'all. So we'll get that all seasoned up. Put uh, some of my caramelized onion seasoning in there on those. And I'm gonna chop my carrots and throw it in there. Oh, and I'm gonna do some scrambled eggs in there as well, like I did the last time. I won't be putting any chicken. I thought I had some extra chicken left over, but I don't. But oh, and the other thing I'm putting in there: rice, rice cauliflower. There's the cauliflower. It was frozen, so you, I had to thaw it out, and, and then I had to get all the juice out of it. So I got my rice cauliflower in there peppers and onions in there just to get it all seasoned up and that's just going to add an extra oomph to that rice. Okay? okay we'll be back shortly okay we're back to the cooking y'all know my children my uh my Ari a uh, little pea is in Atlanta so she called and said hey so I had to stop and say hey to her Need some coal nuts. I don't know if there's any coal in there. Yeah, that way, I'll show you the water. Yeah, Mm, that was Kareem going out the door, Lord have mercy. Okay, well here I'm back. I'm still sauteing peppers, onions, and 
riced cauliflower. Now I'm going to go ahead and scramble these eggs up and then I'm just going to go ahead and start putting in my um, rice and pour a little bit more oil right there in the middle for the eggs. No meat in this rice this time. It's always good with a little chicken. I thought I was so sure that I had chicken, but I don't. Okay, but we're going to be just fine without it. So we're going to go ahead and scramble these eggs up. Scramble, scramble. This is four eggs, I think. Four or five eggs, I think. I've lost count. I think it's four or five. But anyway, that was my baby little pea. She called, she's in Atlanta with her mom. And they call, just to check in and say, hey. She is walking now. She's a year old in, what, July. Um, and huh, these kids grow up so fast, I'm here to tell you. But it's good, I'm glad to be able to stay in touch with them, you know? But when they're little like that, if you don't stay in touch after a while, they'll forget you. But she's doing well. You doing her little dad, dad, mama, jibber jabber talking now and doing that little Frankenstein walk, as I call it, a little Frankenstein walk. But she's just precious. That's uh, Tansy's grandbaby. So all is well with her, so that's good to know today. You know, it's good when you hear from your family. I think I've heard from, I think I've talked to, well, I got to talk to my son in Atlanta. I haven't talked to him in about a couple of weeks now. And, um, you know, I always hear from the grandkids, but they, they in and out here all the time. So, it's always good, though, to hear from family and stay in touch. And please do that. If they don't call you, don't get the attitude. They ain't call. You call them. You call them if they don't call you. That's what I do. Sometimes you get a little irritated with them when they don't call, but that's okay. it will be all right. Call them up. Put that phone up. Call them cheering, honey. Because tomorrow is not promised for any of us, young or old. And that's the thing we have to get in our mind, you know. Family is family. We are who God made us to be, all of us. It weren't, none of us much, I don't think, was able to really pick, so to speak, to family up here, so. No, no. I'm on this one. I never looked at a moose. Huh? I never looked at a moose more like the goat. It was a moose. Yeah, that's right. I said, I can't be where I have my ball with my hair not done. You said, I don't know how moose. So look at my hair now. Oh, I know I'm the goat. Yeah, I looked at you. If you, See, that, that's what if you had about. asked me, I would have told you, no, no, I look at you more like that's the goat. Right. Okay, so now you look more like the Tansy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you could do that. All you got to do is put product on your hair, honey. Product to do. I was trying to tell you that it's not under your view. Well, you just had to show me so good. I had to try to go through the goat, so I never yeah. looked at you like a goat. I ain't got time to mess with you. I was talking to Lola. She was looking at them mini bars. She wasn't studying me. Okay, y'all. I've got about half my rice in. I'm going to start putting a little bit more seasons in there. Seasoning. And then, let's see what we got going on. We got some onion powder, some garlic powder. Oh, I'm going to even put a little bit of soy sauce in there today, y'all. I might do a little soy sauce. All right, Tansy. Okay. I'm sort of doing pretty well. Uh, hang on just a minute. So, y'all, we just going to continue to mix this rice so we get it all in here. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, here's the birthday bill. And um, know, honestly, um, this is the birthday meal and the Labor Day meal. This is happy birthday to Tanya, Kareem, and Tansy. So here's the baked beans, the broccoli casserole, some fried rice, hamburger sliders, and my orange jerk chicken and corn on the cob, and some potato salad. The gang's out here. We get ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. Thank y'all for stopping by. They talking so loud, I can't hardly hear myself think. But anywho, I got it done. And Miss Bentley, my friend Miss Bentley, is her her birthday was the 30. 
30th of last month so we celebrating her birthday saying happy birthday so this is as much as i was able to get in here to do today but then well we got something on the stove to eat so thank y'all remember pray without ceasing be careful pray for our children lift somebody up y'all and be careful in this stormy weather so until we decide to cook again love you guys toodles you didn't get any seeds in the circle, guys. And you probably be smaller than them.